Hello friends, today we are here to learn Father to Son by Elizabeth Jennings. When we see this topic, Father to Son, we get to understand that there is a problem between father and son. Here in the poem, we find a clash between two generations, the old and the new. Father represents old generation and son the new one. There is always problem between these two individuals as they don't share table for talk. In this world, most of the problems can be eradicated by talking, by communicating, by clearing misunderstanding. But both the individuals, that is father and son, are not able to do that because both of them are full of egotism. Nobody wants to give up their ego. Father does not want to bow down in front of son and the vice versa. Both are unhappy but nobody wants to move ahead. Nobody wants to stretch hand for friendship. But even if this is the situation, both of them are not able to share their agony. They want special care, both of them, father and son, but they are not able to get it from each other. There, there lies the problem. Now here, father articulates, father utters his pain because his son has gone away. His son has become stranger because he does not communicate. Both of them, ironic situation is that both of them stay together under the same roof. They share same house, but still there is chasm, there is difference, there is a rift in the relationship. Now here, the poem starts with autobiographical touch, but it transcends, it crosses the barrier of time and space. It means, this is not the problem of the father which is mentioned in the poetry, but this is the father of entire globe. Entire old generation are suffering from this problem. They are not able to understand new generation. And... Even son is not happy at the same time. Let us discuss the problem of father because of the separation from his son. Father laments. Father becomes very sad because there is a huge gap in the relationship between he and his son. He has agony of breakup. He is extremely sad. Because of the gap in age, moral values, um, their mindset, their thinking process, there is a gap, there is a huge gap between father and son, which father wants to cement, father wants to bridge, father wants to uh, solve the differences that has been created. In order to end this strangeness, he wants compatibility with his son. And till now he is not able to do that. Father further regrets having lost the opportunity to build relationship. Because of some reason he is not he was not able to understand his son because of which he has gone very far. He has made another world. Now the son has own dreams. The son has new plans which father does not appreciate. Strange, um, the relationship is very strange. It has become very strange because there is no compatibility between son and the father. Father regrets, father regrets a lot uh, because their relationship has ended. Now, son has made his own world. Son has made his own friends and instead of getting any support, any guidance from his father, he relies upon his friends. He is very much happy there and at home he is gloomy, he is sad, he does not have any support. Therefore, under the same roof, father is also 
uh, in agony and sun as well and this sadness can be eradicated with the help of communication which both of them are not able to do therefore their relationship has become non functional and <clears throat> When we talk about new generation, they have seen ample of opportunities. They have seen ample of scopes. They have seen ample of arenas where they can try their luck, where they can try their caliber, where they can show their um uh, potential. But father wants a safe job, safe environment, safe life for their children. Therefore, they are not. able to take the risk for which new generation is ready therefore father's inability to understand his son leads to grief father is very sad and at any cost he wants to win his son he does not favor his son making his own world which he has already made and son is happy out there he does not want to come back he does not require any support of his father because he has made another world but still there is some lagging there is some lacking which he wants to get it from his father he is ready to reconcile the father is ready to reconcile his heart says to say sorry to the son but he is not able to because of his egotism of course he is ready to reconcile and that till then there is chillness there is lack of emotion there's lack of warmth in the relationship therefore coldness surrounds in the relationship of father and son and here father here the father is very much here the father is very much uh sad because he is not able to build a good relationship with his son the father laments that the son who who was very much his own during childhood why he is not able to understand that very child now why he has become so strange he has inculcated moral values in him but those moral values he is not able to see in him now what has happened to the hard work that father has done in building the son these are the problems of father and it's not only father's lament sons as well even son is not happy at last he says father is not able to and he is very much confused this confusion can be seen in new generation modern generation is very much irritated they are trying so many things but they are not successful in anything they can earn money later on but they are not able to deal with the depression they are not able to have a good life and money cannot um, cer- uh, give certainty that one is going to have a good life they need support they need atmosphere they need uh, happiness from their relatives a uh, human being being a social animal they can never live alone therefore we require friends we require relationships but new generation are not valuing that they have made walls between their generation and old generation because of which they are not able to get the support and apart from that on the top of that they are not able to bow down in front of the old people old generation from whom they can get blessings from whom they can get support from whom they can get guidance these are the problems of son and father as well so this is a message of father to son this is a message that father is in pain after losing his son son is also in pain because he is not getting any um, help from his father so these are the things which were talked by elizabeth jennings in the poetry and prodigal son i have forgotten to mention the uh, explain, uh, meaning of prodigal son prodigal son means extravagant son the one who is wasteful the one who wastes money in unnecessary things eventually he is not able to cope up with the situation that he faces but still father is ready to accept him at any cost so 
these are the things which were discuss which were discussed in the poetry which is universal this is the problem of entire generation entire people who live on earth so this is the message from elizabeth jennings through father to son thank you